air travel plays a crucial role in supporting economic growth and prosperity, particularly for an island nation like the UK. It's a part of modern life that we all take for granted. For business, for international trade, for pleasure. Flying is central to today's fast-moving lifestyle. While we may have cut back on air travel during the economic downturn, it is forecast to start growing again, and our skies will be getting busier. Our airspace is a precious national resource, and how we use and manage it is a matter of great responsibility. The expertly controlled passage of aircraft above us ensures our safety and keeps aircraft flowing efficiently. And the more efficient we can make it, the more we can potentially reduce its impact on the environment. NATS provides air traffic control services to aircraft flying in UK airspace and over the eastern half of the North Atlantic. The UK has some of the busiest airspace in the world, and it's particularly complex in southeast England. We handle more than 2.1 million flights a year, a figure that's doubled in just 20 years. And our job is to ensure we manage them safely and efficiently with room for future growth. In the UK, most commercial aircraft fly in controlled airspace under the direction of air traffic controllers. The boundary of controlled airspace varies depending on how close it is to an airfield, starting at ground level and rising as the distance from the airfield increases. Above 19,500 feet, all airspace is controlled. Pilots plan their journey in much the same way as drivers use a road map, except that in the skies it's three-dimensional. Controllers can vary the actual flight path taken by an aircraft depending on a number of factors. For instance, the need to maintain safe separation between aircraft or allocating a more direct route. Pilots can also request a particular route, which controllers will do their best to accommodate when conditions allow. Air traffic controllers ensure aircraft fly safely separated by allocating different heights or minimum horizontal distances between them. Aircraft must be separated by at least 1,000 feet vertically, or if they're flying at the same level, by a minimum of three miles horizontally. Airspace is divided into sectors, each with its own team of air traffic controllers. A flight through UK airspace will go through a number of sectors, and be passed seamlessly from one team of controllers to another. For inbound flights, controllers ensure aircraft descend in a safe and orderly stream. At busy times, aircraft are directed to holds, where they circle 1,000 feet apart down to a level of around 7,000 feet, before being sequenced and released for final approach. At about 8 miles from touchdown, aircraft are handed over to the airport's tower controllers, who guide them safely onto the ground and to the stand. You can find out much more about how air traffic control works on our website, nats.co.uk.